Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time with us, thank you for joining us. Welcome to Raising Spirits with Nolan Woods. So we're back again doing part two of easy cocktails that I think everybody should know. Easy classic cocktails that I think everybody should know. If you haven't checked out part one yet, definitely check that one out as well. There's some great drinks there uh, as well as what we're going to do today. And I don't know how many parts we're going to do because there's so many great classic cocktails and I try not to put too many drinks into a single video just to kind of you know, keep your guys' attention for as long as I can. But that's what we're doing today, guys. Part two of easy classic cocktails that I think everyone should know. Let's get into it. Okay, you guys. So the first cocktail we're going to mix today is the old fashioned. My favorite cocktail of all time. So really fitting that we start this video out with the old fashioned. So all you're going to need for an old fashioned, you guys, is some bourbon. We just have good old Jim Beam. But if you have a special brand of bourbon that you like, go with that. And then you're going to need some Angostura bitters. You can find them in liquor stores, but you could also find them in grocery stores as well. Um, I'm sure it's not a problem in the States, but in Canada, we don't they don't really sell alcohol in the grocery stores. You have to go to specialty liquor stores, but you can get the Angostura bitters in any, in any grocery store in Canada. At least you should be able to. I mean, in the ones around here, you can. <laughs> and then you're going to need some simple syrup. You can buy this off the shelf or you can make your own. It's super easy to make. I prefer to make my own because then you can control just exactly how much sugar content your simple syrup is going to have. And then we're going to garnish the drink with a little bit of orange zest. Now, <clears throat> or some orange peel. Uh, you can do a maraschino cherry as well if you like. I'm not a huge fan of maraschino cherries, which is why I'm not going to garnish mine with a maraschino cherry, and we're going to go just purely with uh, the orange peel. And that's everything you need to make the perfect old-fashioned. Let's get to mixing. And there you go, guys. There was the classic old fashioned, my favorite cocktail of all time. Super delicious. It's smoky, it's bourbony, but you get that little hint of sweet from the simple syrup and that little bit of flavor and citrus from the orange people, from the orange peel. It's very important. Uh, you don't have to do the lighter thing and get the oils to flame up, which I didn't do a very good job of in that one, by the way. But you know, it's just, it adds a, an element of flair. And I, I find when you put that little bit of extra care into a drink, it just makes it taste that much better. So classic old fashioned, highly recommend you guys try that out. So up next, what we got is the classic vodka gimlet. Again, very simple one to make, except now we're going to be using a shaker. So instead of just stirring it with a bar spoon. So for this, you're going to need some vodka. You're going to need your simple syrup again. And you're going to need fresh lime juice. I mean, you can use uh, concentrate uh, lime, but I always prefer fresh. So I'm going to use the juice of about half of a lime. And I'm also going to garnish the glass with a little slice of lime as well. And then we're going to put these ingredients into a shape shaker, shake it all up, and then serve it in a stemless martini glass. So this is going to be the classic vodka gimlet, guys. Let's get to mixing. And there you had the classic vodka gimlet, you guys. Really great drink. And, um, you know, if you're looking for something that's a little bit stronger but still has some good flavor to it, could be a really good option for you. And it's just an iconic classic cocktail. So moving on to the last one of the day, what we're going to be doing is the classic Moscow Mule. 
And for that, what you're going to need is vodka and ginger beer. These are going to be your two main ingredients for a Moscow Mule. But we're also going to use some fresh lime juice, of the juice of about half of a lime. And then we're also going to garnish the drink with some lime wedge, with a fresh slice of lime, as well as um, some mint leaves as well. And we're going to both use the mint leaves in the mixing of the drink, as well as garnishing the drink as, as well. We're going to take a few leaves, mash it together and rub it, and then put it into the drink and mix it so you get a little bit more of that mint flavor in the actual cocktail. And then, again, we'll have a, a stock of mint to garnish the drink with as well. So, yeah, this is going to be the Moscow Mule, you guys. Let's get to mixing. And there you have the Moscow Mule, you guys. Super classic cocktail, super delicious, super easy to do. Um, I, of course, busted out the, the copper mugs I have specifically for this drink. If you do not have the copper mugs, that's totally fine. You can always just serve these in a standard highball glass or whatever. Uh, you'll have to forgive me. The slice of lime I had got a little mangled, so it just kind of ended up in the drink instead of on the side where you can see it. But uh, the flavor is all still there. And... Yeah, that is just, that is a spectacular drink. Strong, but just so much flavor in a Moscow Mule. Really, really great cocktail. Highly recommend you give it a shot if you've never had one uh, before. Super great. Mmm, that's great. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making these drinks for you. Uh, again, if you haven't checked out part one yet, go go give that a watch and see if you like what we did with that. And then, you know, let us know if there's any classic cocktails that if you want us to do, because, you know, there's so many to get through and we're going to keep doing these videos, but we'll, we'll try to make sure we get to everybody and anybody's favorite classic cocktail. But those are the three we're doing today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that usual BS. And uh, make sure we're always drinking responsibly out there, guys. Cheers. Have a great day. Take care.